Hi guys, today we have a Gillen Vaughan 6x6 episode. I want to clarify it right away because many misunderstood. They were like, it was completely G Wagon, then why cutting it again? Well, this is a new project in which we're making an exact copy of the original. So we set the middle axis back so the length and everything will match. There will a Merlin front bumper as you all like with the Brabus pipe. New mirrors, everything will be cool. So I hope you all got it that this is a new project. Well, I'm going to change now and then we'll cut my beautiful G Wagon. Our gallon wagon is completely disassembled, we pulled out the interior, all the rear windows pulled out, the extra ones passed over in the doors, the panels are pressed over, that is, we're ready to cut. You will have a chance to completely control the process, how it will happen. We have a novelty, also we will retrace the metal axe, that is, all wheels distances, but the wheel base length, everything will be the same as in the original. But at the same time, we will not cut the frame in the center. That is, we'll not cut it in the third place. We sit down our entire team and let's see develop the technology. Let's watch how it all begins. You know we fall for love. Well, we cut out the back part, you see, that is, the process has already begun. What are we doing now? We hand the car completely on the prop so that it sends level, so that the level is at the zero everywhere, and now we will finish repairing the frame. When we disassemble it, we notice a lot of problems with the car, as, as it were, accident, this is not the same Gallen wagon that we did in 2016, this is a node model of 2001. Its frame is a little rusty, but it's not rotten, that is, we clean it out here. Of course, there was fog, no one could work, everyone came out in pads, pads fasteners. Where we have the pillows, the partition was proceed through, it's just tore it. One, the second from the back, while in general, the machine was already malfunctioning. That is, there was no vibration tamping. When there are pads between the frame and the body, they still damp some shocks and stuff like that. This was not the case, we ordered, there was a 2015 gallon wagon for this section, Ideal pads, now we'll show you pads and fasteners themselves. They cut them off to us right with a piece of the frame, all this has arrived, we have changed it here already on both sides, we have changed the rear ones, and we'll put the additional ones too, they will already be good ones. 
That is most likely the idea they are done too. Although it's possible that the rear part always suffers more, it is possible that they are still alive, but we'll check it all. There are a caliper guide turned sore. I will show you the caliper guide sore. They swelled. That is, the pad didn't work at all. You'll see for yourself now. Here guys, we removed our bushing from the bats, the rear ones, they are from 2001, they are abolated already and simply didn't work. Buying all this in order is very expensive, it's long to wait too, need to wait two weeks. Well now go and we'll green these new ones from the caplorectum, we'll green new calipter guide, we take the dimensions from our new cube from that 6x6 we have already done, and in principle that's all, we found a way out of the situation. See, yes, they just turned to oral, there is a little frame like this, rusty, it's not rotten, but covered with rust, we'll clean everything. In general, we did this with those inflated pads, now we'll show you what we did. We sharpened that park at the turner, now plump, reinforced everything as it should be. We have good elastic bands on the pads, soft, that is, no turn, no problems. These caliper guides here, they are all which were bloated and the pads didn't work. We sharpened everything to size since we had a 6x6 gallon wagon from 2016, which were walked. We measured all sizes from there and we also sharpened these bushings from caprolactum. That is, roughly speaking, we actually got new pads. So we redid all the problem pads and everything is great with us. Because the original one costs crazy money, and so we have rubber bands, pushing, everything is cool, everything is in size, everything is without problems. In general, guys, we already have the frame ready, we can say that we lengthened the frame, welded it, welded it into the lock, that is, the half of the frame was dismissed in half, such as Z-shaped or zigzag, I don't know how to explain, I will show you later in the video. We welded it, then we made a window, we welded it inside, because the cube has a double frame on one side, two metals, and another side has a single frame. We welded it, in principle, there are no problems in this, but the most important point, what I told you, yes, we took the wells back by 30 centimeters, as I said, that is, completely everything as the original is done. If you do not understand the middle axe even more, we increased the wall base between the front and rear wells, but at the same time, we didn't cut the frame in the center, is everyone think is lengthening so, so this is not right. We went to Santador, who doesn't know what it is, this is an examination that checks the cars for honesty, the wind codes or whether the body is broken, the frames are not changed, that is, there are many cars with problems like that, we ask them a question. If we got the frame in the center, disconnect and got again from the back, they said you don't have to come to us, this car will not pass the examination. You can still cut at the back, but never in the center, because the frame will no longer be considered one piece. We went further through our and more correctly strategy for constructing our cube, we moved the metal suspension back. I will show you all this in the video, and we will insert an additional suspension in the place we need, like we did with the previous gun wagon. That is, our wall base will completely coincide. We do not cut the frame, this is a very important thing. So guys, the so-called snacks have arrived for a cube, these are side walls, side walls on the body, they were made long, solid, cool. This is our template, we made the first template incorrectly, the second, because these edges a millimeter to and fro, that is, not a coincidence, and the machine is curved, oblique, has not integrity of its own. You look and it seems to be molded from pieces, we got into right temple, we draw it, approved it, and then made made unnecessary side walls for us. We'll install it now. We started to work in principle, we began to lengthen the frame, now I'm solving the problem very quickly with discs. I want everything to be one-to-one -one like the original. The 18 disc wide, I don't want less, they are narrow, squeeze the rubber, we don't need this. I'm looking for a disc like the original, now I'm searching, they are apparently very expensive and rubber is size 37, no other suits me, I looked around Europe, across Russia, nowhere else I can find one in size 37. I'll take it from America. Ok, the video ends here guys, don't forget to hit the thumbs up. Bye! Blah, blah.